What's going on y'all, it's David or David. I know it's been a long time since I've done a build video, but with Mayhem 2.0 coming out soon, I wanted to release a Gamma Burst build that is pretty flexible in weapon choice so everyone can smash all the Mayhem levels. So this is a Gamma Burst build where I dive deep into the orange tree for Megavore and deep into the green tree for tons of bonus fire rate and damage. Here is the full skill tree, make sure to pause it here because I'm going to focus on each tree individually and really quick to like go over some of the superstars in this build. The Megavore skill package of Megavore, Leave No Trace and Headcount help boost our DPS with crits while also giving this build a lot more gas with ammo returns from Leave No Trace and Action Seal cooldown reduction with Headcount. The Hunter skill package of Interplanetary Stalker, The Most Dangerous Game, Frenzy and Furious Attack all significantly boost our damage and are all boosted in effectiveness and duration from big game. Two Fang is also really important here because it's an indirect DPS boost because of the damage we get from the extra projectiles, but also with certain guns, this skill really flourishes and makes a giant impact. For my action skill, I stated earlier, but this is definitely a Gamma Burst build, and unlike most of the other Gamma Burst builds out there, I only went far enough into the blue tree for the first two augments so I could get damage from the other trees. The first augment, Atomic Aroma, seems pretty underwhelming at first. While the radiation damage from your pet is very low, the important part is not the damage it does, but the radiation effect that it applies to the enemies which causes them to explode on death. The second Gamma Burst augment, Empathic Rage, just boosts our damage by 20% during Gamma Burst. Not too flashy, but very helpful. The pet that I like to run here is the Great Horn Skag for the damage boost. I normally run the Spider Ant Scorcher, but this build features multiple different guns, some of which have no element, so I make sure to use the Skag for the universal damage boost. Moving on to my favorite part of the build, the gear. My first weapon is the redistributor with the consecutive hit anointments on it. This gun benefits a ton from fire rate because every 7th shot chains the nearby enemies. So when you shoot faster with things like overclocked combined with two fang, you're chaining the enemies rapidly and dealing major DPS. I use this gun for the build as my main gun because in the takedown and slaughter shaft, the two places that I like to farm the most, enemies tend to have mostly like shield or armor bars and this gun just shreds through all of them really fast. When I choose other guns to take with me for this build, I make sure to bring ones that don't share the same ammo as the redistributors on the off chance that I run out of SMG ammo. So my second gun that I like to take with me for this build is the all reliable x25 stagecoach with consecutive hits annoying. This gun does insane burst damage as long as you hit all of your pellets because it stacks up damage super fast. I like to use this when enemies are alone and have high resistance to my redistributor damage types. Depending on what artifact you run, this gun can also shred bosses in no time with like a bounty hunter, even without having an elemental damage type on it. The stagecoach is also extremely useful for proccing headcount and getting your action skill back up really fast. My last gun that I take with me is the new Soul Render Assault Rifle from DLC 2. This gun has great DPS from a long range and the consecutive hits anoint paired with the high accuracy helps you keep your stacks up. This gun doesn't do crazy damage like the other two, I really just have it with me for when I get like low on ammo or if I want to look at the cool purple skull animation when it shoots. Although if you have a good like god roll doll mod with doll crit damage paired with some good aim, you can definitely bring this weapon up to par with the other ones here. My shield mod is a shield that I've been experimenting with for some time now. It's the new Adrenaline Initiative shield from Vincent and DLC2. This shield gives you a reload speed bonus when your shield is depleted, and since it has no shield in exchange for weapon damage, damage reduction, and bonus maximum health, you will always have the bonus reload speed. The action skill cooldown rate anointment is just really helpful in combination with headcount and eager to impress to ensure that I have gamma burst backup as soon as possible. If having no shield is like not your cup of tea, then a transformer, a stopgap, or even the new old god shields all do the trick here just fine. My grenade mod is not nearly as important as the shield, I just run a radiation recurring hex, not so much for the grenade itself, but more for the grenade thrown anointment. Chucking a grenade is honestly sometimes slightly annoying because of how the enemies like dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge away from the grenades all the time, but the bonus damage that I get from tossing nades is a good trade-off. You can pretty much pick whatever grenade you enjoy using here, just make sure to have the grenade throw to anointment. Now for my class mod of choice. I think that the Red Fang is the best here for Gamma Burst, just sheerly for the pet taunt function. As you probably all know, Flak has by far the least amount of survivability out of the current Vault Hunters, so having the ability for your pet to taunt the enemy so you don't die as easily is priceless. This Red Fang comes with the most optimal 5 points and eager to impress for the action skill cooldown reduction, but honestly any Red Fang here would work just fine. 
This particular one also has action skill cooldown rate, Hyperion crit damage, and SMG damage bonuses. This is mainly for the redistributor, but the Soul Render and Stagecoach still do plenty of damage. Just make sure to use a Red Fang with crit damage for whatever weapon you're using the most here. And lastly, for my artifact, I chose to run a Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge because having the ability to stack damage with this artifact and my anointments really make all the difference. I chose to use a Fire Ray and Reload Speed one because the Redistributor is my main weapon here, but anything with like mag size can also work as well. Now that all of the gear is covered, I do want to briefly cover the general mobbing and bossing strategies. For mobbing, activating Gamma Burst and tossing a nade to proc your damage boost should be the first thing that you do. From there, it's pretty much all about letting your pet tank the enemies and you shooting them. The Redistributor is best for enemies that are clustered together, and the Stagecoach is great for picking off the solo targets. Once your Gamma Burst is down, you have to act quickly because your pet and you can die very easily when it's on cooldown, so work on getting it back with the Stagecoach or Redistributor if the enemies are close. Don't worry if your pet does die because it can be brought back up with Gamma Burst, and don't worry if you go down because you still have plenty of damage with this build. But the cooldown will be a bit longer if you do choose to revive your pet through Gamma Burst. Just try to stay out of the enemy's fire until Gamma Burst is back up and then you'll be all set. For bossing, I like to Gamma Burst directly at the boss for the extra damage and then toss nades and burn it down while moving. The strategy is pretty similar to mobbing, but you'll have to be mindful of the boss's attacks much more than when mobbing, because the bigger bosses don't care too much about the Red Fang ability. Hitting all your shots on the bosses are super important because you want your consecutive hits to stack up and build as quickly as possible. Other than that, just make sure to keep Gamma Bursting in the shortest intervals possible so your pet can distract the adds while you clean up the boss. That is going to be it for my Ascended Flak build for Mayhem Mode 2.0. If you liked the video, please make sure to rack attack that thumbs up button and drop me a comment if you have anything to add because I reply to all of my comments. Come swing by the Discord for the save file, or if you want to chat and do any trading with myself or my community, and don't forget to gamma press that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of my content. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I will check you all in the next video. See ya! Can I take you